you're looking for some inspo on what to wear this season, this video is for you. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're definitely in this transitional period in terms of the seasons where it's currently spring, but summer's right around the corner. So if any of you guys are like me and you're kind of wanting just a little bit more inspo and you're wanting a little bit more insight on what to wear during this time, this video hopefully will help you guys do just that. I'm gonna run you guys through my top nine must have essentials for this time of the year. I'll of course talk to you guys about why I feel like it's so essential, how I style it and all that good stuff. As always, links to everything will of course be in the description box down below. Definitely be sure to, if you have any questions or if you just wanna leave me some feedback or if you just wanna of course show me some love, definitely be sure to leave all of that in the comment section down below as well. Subscribe for more content like this. And if you aren't already, definitely be sure to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for just more vibes, more content, inspo, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'm super excited for today's video. We're gonna hop into a really nice kind of B-roll voiceover, really nice icy edits. So hopefully you guys gather some inspo from today's video. As always, it gets chatty here. So do what you have to do, grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax me for a bit. And without further ado, let's get into my top nine must have spring slash summer essentials for 20. 2022. When it comes to certain outfits, I definitely want a really nice light layering piece without committing to an actual jacket. And that is where this Cold Bucks Invest comes into play. I love how it adds a really nice layer to my overall outfit without doing too much, all the while elevating and adding to my existing outfit to give it just that extra finesse that it was missing. I feel like puffer vests like this is a really good example of a really great all year round staple. However, there are a ton of other affordable alternatives to this specific vest. You don't have to get a puffer one if you are not feeling that vibe. You can opt for just a regular vest that's maybe more on the knitted side. Like you can even opt for a lighter color as well. It's just that really nice finishing layering piece for the slightly colder days and nights in the spring slash summer seasons. It wouldn't be a spring slash summer essentials video without a really good mention of a really nice pair of sneakers. If I'm looking for just classic, minimal, simple, and timeless designs in terms of sneakers, Koyo is and always will be my go-to. Much love to Koyo for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. I wanted to share with you guys two styles from Koyo that I just recently got. The first one and my personal favorite being the Capri in vanilla. I love not only the Capri silhouette from Koyo because the leather and the overall silhouette is just amazing. The quality of the actual sneaker is 10 out of 10. And on top of all of that, I love the vanilla colorway of this said sneaker. And I feel like the vanilla colorway of the Koyo Capri sneaker definitely gives off all the spring summer vibes and is definitely a banger. I could definitely see myself styling this up with a really nice all black outfit and then maybe pairing it with an overshirt that kind of matches the tones of the Capri Koyo sneaker in vanilla. However, if you guys are just opting for and looking for something a little bit more simple for this time of the year, you guys can opt for one of the newer silhouettes from Koyo, such as this one right here called Tivoli in the chalk colorway. I love this sneaker and this silhouette of it specifically because I love how the leather is a little bit more worn giving it that really nice vintage worn in feel and look and effect and overall I just feel like you guys can never go wrong with classic timeless silhouettes when it comes to sneakers so if any of you guys are looking for that perfect pair of sneakers for the spring slash summer season I will have these two sneakers linked down below in the description box for you guys and then I'll also leave a link to the actual Koya website so you guys can see some of their latest offerings so definitely be sure to check them out and much love once again to Koyo for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. When it comes to opting for a really nice t-shirt during this time of the year, I like to opt for two different types. The first one being a elevated take and a modern take on the traditional basic tee, such as this Zara zip tee right here. I love the nice subtle zipper detail with the high neck sort of look. I feel like, again, it's a really nice elevated, slightly modern and kind of remixed take on the rather traditional basic tee. And then the second type of t-shirt that I usually gravitate towards during this time of the year is a 
really nice bold logo tee such as this one right here from balenciaga don't get me wrong i love a really good simple classic basic tee but i feel like during the summertime especially for us dudes our options in terms of styling and aesthetics and outfits is limited so if you can kind of get a nice little casual flex in with a really bold logo when you can i definitely feel like you should it's a really great way to kind of play up an outfit on the more funner side of things without doing too much and this balenciaga tee right here is a really great example of that you absolutely don't have to get this balenciaga tee right here as it's really expensive and i'm sure you guys can find a ton of other bold logo aesthetic like tees at the fraction of the price With the warmer season upon us, you can definitely expect the sun to be out. And with that, you definitely need a really good pair of sunglasses. I just recently picked up these right here from Prada and they were definitely a pretty penny, but in my opinion, they were so worth it. I feel like they kind of just add that really nice finesse to every single outfit of mine. I feel like a really good sunglass definitely finishes off every outfit and makes any outfit, especially during this time of the year, just that much more spring slash summer appropriate. If any of you guys like the Prada sunglass aesthetic, but you don't have that Prada sunglass check, which is totally fine because like I said, these were definitely expensive. I found a really nice affordable alternative on Amazon, which is this white pair of sunglasses right here. They look exactly the same. The quality is not really up there with Prada, but nonetheless, if you're just trying to get the aesthetic and if you're just trying to get the vibe, I would definitely recommend these Amazon sunglasses right here. As always, I'll leave links to everything down below. If you're gonna opt for pants and trousers during the spring slash summer seasons, my top tip would be to opt for something that's a little bit more baggy, loose, and or flowy, such as these examples that I'm showing you guys on the screen right now. I feel like really baggy, loose, and just flowy, any of those sort of trousers are definitely going to be a hit for this time of the year. I could see myself styling these types of trousers with just a really nice basic tee, some really minimal jewelry, some sunglasses, maybe a nice hat, a crossbody bag, and then finishing off the whole entire outfit with either a really nice nice unique sneaker with that has a nice pop of color or if i wanted something a little bit more casual i just finished off the entire outfit with a really nice pair of slides or mules i think when it comes to wearing trousers and pants during this time of the year i feel like the whole baggy loose flowy aesthetic just reads a little bit more spring summer appropriate and so of course naturally if you're trying to come through with spring summer inspired outfits and you want to be on trend or basically, if you just kind of want to be in line with the season, I feel like having, again, that really nice flowiness, that really nice looseness with the fit of the trousers is definitely the way to go. Obviously, this would not be a spring slash summer essentials video without a really good mention of shorts. I personally have a hard time styling as well as finding really good shorts. However, these ones right here from Abercrombie is definitely up there in my opinion. They come in a ton of colors. They're super affordable. And I feel like sweat shorts is definitely the way to go for this time of the year. And I think with sweat shorts, in my opinion, you don't really have to spend a lot of money on them. And that's why I wanted to show you guys this Abercrombie option. Stay tuned because I plan to do a whole styling shorts video dropping very soon. So if you wanna get more inspo in terms of shorts, be on the lookout for that video. If you want another option in terms of a layering piece because you don't like the vest or you don't like denim jackets, a really nice oversized overshirt is definitely 100% the way to go. I love a good overshirt and this one that I just recently found from the thrift is 10 out of 10. I love the fit. I love how big and oversized it is. Just like what I said about the denim jackets could make for a really great light layering piece on the colder days during this time of the year. I have found some of my favorite overshirts at the thrift, so I would definitely recommend checking that out. If you don't like the whole overshirt aesthetic, you can easily opt for a really nice oversized button up shirt and that could act as a really great light layering piece. I know I have some viewers who live in really hot and warm climate areas. So if you want a nice layering piece, but you want it to be really light, a really good oversized button up would definitely do the trick as well. 
during this time of the year is usually when everyone is out and about because the weather is nice the sun is out and so if you are wanting a bag to hold all of your essentials i would highly recommend an oversized tote bag i just recently got this one from essence and i love how big this bag is it holds all of my essentials and much more oversized bags especially specifically tote bags have definitely been a trend lately 10 out of 10 can't recommend enough i'll be sure to leave this one linked down below along with some of my other favorites I don't know about you guys, but I'm just personally excited for the fall slash winter season to come back around. Spring slash summer is definitely not my favorite, but you know, it is what it is. We gotta do what we gotta do. So again, hopefully you gathered some inspo from today's video. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.